Second, there have been plenty of people who believed in God who were not good people. Indeed, more than a few have been evil and have even committed evil in God's name. The existence of God doesn't ensure people will do good. I wish it did. The existence of God only ensures that good and evil objectively exist and are not merely opinions. Which, even if true, would be an entirely vacuous and irrelevant factoid given that people don't depend on it to be good, nor does it prevent people from being bad. Without God, we therefore end up with what is known as moral relativism, meaning that morality is not absolute, but only relative to the individual or to the society. Even if there is a God who dictates right and wrong, morality would be no less relative because right or wrong would be relative to that God's commandments. It would be contingent upon that God. But again, since good people don't need such a God to be good, and such a God does not prevent bad people from being bad, the existence of such a God is entirely inconsequential. Without God, the words good and evil are just another way of saying, I like and I don't like. No, I use the words good and evil to describe actions I intend to do or promote and actions I intend to undermine or obstruct. If there is no God, the statement murder is evil is the same as the statement I don't like murder. No, it's the same as the statement I will obstruct attempts to commit murder. Now, many will argue that you don't need moral absolutes. People won't murder because they don't want to be murdered. But that argument is just wishful thinking. It's also wishful thinking to believe that you can prevent someone who intends to commit murder from going through with it by convincing them that it is objectively wrong. Atheists are disproportionately underrepresented in the prison population. So many, probably even most criminals, already believe that their actions violate a god's moral standards. That doesn't stop them. When we catch somebody attempting to commit murder, we don't call the philosophy department of the local university, nor do we call the clergy. We call the cops, and we don't expect them to come armed with arguments about the objective wrongness of murder. Hitler, Stalin, and Mao didn't want to be murdered, but that hardly stopped them from murdering about a hundred million people. And Hitler believed in a god. That didn't stop him from murdering millions of people. Ivan the Terrible claimed that his murderous rampages were inspired by his belief in a god. It is not a coincidence that the rejection of Judeo-Christian values in the Western world by Nazism and Communism led to the murder of all these innocent people. First of all, Nazis believe that they were living up to Christian values, not rejecting them. And secondly, communism is obviously not a rejection of Christian values because in the book of Acts, Peter and John establish an explicitly communist community. It is also not a coincidence that the first societies in the world to abolish slavery, an institution that existed in every known society in human history, were Western societies rooted in Judeo-Christian values. And so were the first societies to affirm universal human rights, to emancipate women, and to proclaim the value of liberty. None of which can credibly be attributed to the Bible. Today, the rejection of Judeo-Christian values and moral absolutes has led to a world of moral confusion. On the whole, we live in the least violent and most luxurious time in all of human history, so what the fuck are you talking about? In the New York Times in March 2015, a professor of philosophy confirmed this. As a philosophy major, I'm skeptical that a professor of philosophy is in any position to confirm such a thing. He wrote, What would you say if you found out that our public schools were teaching children that it is not true that it's wrong to kill people for fun? Would you be surprised? I was. The professor then added, the overwhelming majority of college freshmen view moral claims as mere opinions. Even if that's the case, what have been the consequences of this? It clearly hasn't increased murder rates because murder rates are some of the lowest in the last few decades. You seem to think that people who believe that morality is subjective may be more likely to do immoral things. Where's the evidence of this? Even if somebody says that morality is merely a matter of opinion, that doesn't mean that they are any more likely to have the opinion that murder is acceptable. So then, whatever you believe about God or religion, here is a fact. Without a God who is the source of morality, morality is just a matter of opinion.
And even when people believe that there is a god, they still behave in immoral ways. Belief in a god and objective morality doesn't even correlate with how law-abiding a population is, so your point is relevant to absolutely nothing. So, if you want a good world, the death of Judeo-Christian values should frighten you. Given that crime rates have declined as atheism has become more common, no, it fucking shouldn't. And thanks again to everybody who helps me out on Patreon, that's much appreciated.